Now this stunning creature here is one that we've released on many occasions. It's the forest cobra. Nagia melanoleuca subfolva. Now this is a smallish one, 1.1, 1.2 meters, but as you can see, he's ready. He's ready, feeling a bit threatened at the moment. You may have heard me say in the past that this snake is, as compared to many of the cobras, actually quite docile. There you can see what the snake is doing right now is following my hand. But even at this size, it's quite majestic. Now if I can get close enough, what you may also see on the side of this snake's head are the black and white markings on the upper and lower lips, the black and white scales. And for that reason it's also known commonly in many parts as a black and white lipped cobra. We also know this cobra from distinguished from many other cobras by the fact that it has a long narrow hood as compared to the wide hoods of the more aggressive cobras such as the spitting cobras and cheetah's cobra the snouted cobra this one it will just majestically stand here just being careful until I move away so what I'm going to do now is move away after giving you one more close-up shot here he is following my hand again beautiful snake aptly named a forest cobra because it frequents the forests and here I'm right in the middle of a forest this is a perfect habitat for forest cobras and normally they don't venture very far from the forests like many cobras they're not too fussy about what they eat they go for frogs warm-budded prey such as rodents lizards and like all cobras other snakes if they have the opportunity but generally speaking they don't bother humans too much and they're actually quite a shy snake they'll frequent and hills and hollow trees. There you see the snake going down and he will gradually disappear. There's a smaller version of that. This one's probably about two months old. You may see in colouring it's uh, exceptionally glossy, just like the adult. However, the difference is that it is black with white speckles. And as they get to approximately a metre, the colouring starts changing. And they become brown on the first half of their body from the head and then the speckles fade and halfway through down the body the body then becomes black again but this one is very distinctive in its color and you can see just like the adult behavior the same ready to fight if it needs to We'll let this little fellow go on its way as well now. Hopefully as I back away, the snake will just move off. I'm back at the car now. I'm about 20, 20 meters away and there the snake starts moving off.